and I just wanted to talk to you just about what this video is about. It's supposed to tell you how to say no. So I gave you two examples, kind of just all around kind of idea. One was going to be about sexual harassment, and the other one's going to be about drugs. These are one of the main two common issues that I see with society is that women are being pressured to do things and then men are pressured to sell and or buy substances that are inappropriate and I just wanted to create this video to show you us maybe a step-by-step -step process on how you can say no. I was able to find these reliable steps on a website that I was looking through. It's called seven tips for saying no effectively. Saying goodbye to being people pleaser and learn how to comfortably say no to someone without feeling bad about it. The main reason why I got this is because the creator of this article who goes by the name of Jonathan Alpert, now Albert, Alpert, is a psychotherapist and author of Be Fearless, Change Your Life in 28 Days. He's a renowned author and his credentials are undeniable. They're good and they're professional and looking at and putting these steps into action has showed me that I was able to actually say no without having to feel rude. Like he showed me through these steps that I should rely on myself and that if people are pushing me to do something, they are not a true good person. That I'm a good person for saying no. And I don't feel bad about it now after these steps that I'm going to teach you guys through. So the first step in this process is say it. Don't beat around the bush, basically. If you feel uncomfortable and you want to say no, say no. Just say it. I don't feel comfortable in where I'm at right now. Please excuse me, sir. Or be like, pardon me, I have to go to the restroom. If you are awkward or shy, you can just excuse yourself from the situation or just say it. The second step that he mentioned is being assertive and courteous. It's polite and it's powerful and it's one of the good strategic steps that he does mention. And a good example that he uses is, I'm sorry, I can't right now, but I will let you know if I can. Step three is all about understanding people's tactics. So for instance, if you're going to a grocery store and they're like, would you like to make a donation to feed our starving children, the most, their tactic could be, most people are, like to donate $20, would you like to donate $20 as well? They're using society's pressures to you, pressuring you to donate $20. Where I would have said, no thank you, I would rather take that $20 and put it to my savings towards maybe a new car. But, I mean, people have their priorities different. Step four is all about setting boundaries. So it's basically under, understanding the relationship you have with whatever. So for instance, an example could be, I'm in a relationship with my boyfriend for three years now, almost. And say we got into a fight and he's like, I don't wanna freaking live with you anymore because he freaking lost his mind somehow. And, and he's like, I want you to move out and everything because this, is, this stress is just too much. I'm gonna say, no, sit your butt down. This relationship is worth working for. Where other people can say, in their circumstances, if somebody's hitting on them, no, I'm okay with my relationship. I don't want to ruin anything. Please stay away from me. So the fifth step would be, be firm. If someone can't accept your no, they are not your friend. This is what I said, and this is, what I took from him is if they can't get the hint that you want to say no and that you are saying no, they are not your friend. They are not friendly. They are not part of your side of your team. So that means they're not for you. And if they're not for you, they're against you, right? So that means you want to keep them away from you to make sure that you can stay the best you possible. So if you want to Make sure you keep all those negativity stuff away. Make sure the people on your side are good people too. Okay. Step six, be selfish. Put your needs first. And that's as blunt as I can say it. Because 
if you have a person asking you for something and you give in, they're going to keep asking and asking. And then the more you help out, the more productivity, the less productivity you have and the more resentment you get towards that person because they're putting you towards more work. And Jonathan, well, Jonathan Alpert made a very good comment. The difference between successful people and very successful people is that very successful people like to say no a lot. So, I mean, it's understandable now why. Do you mind helping me with this, sir? No. Why? Because I could do it better than you. That's why Mr. Alpert also made a step seven. But from where my situations are going to be coming from, it doesn't really apply to me. But I would still like to mention it because he is still critical and you guys can use it as well. And that is step seven. Put the question back on the person asking. And this is his scenario. This is a highly... So let's say a supervisor is asking you to take on several tasks, more than you can handle, right? You may say, I'm, I'm happy to do this, this, and that. However, I would need three weeks rather than two. Like I compensate. Like I can do this and this, but I need this. Cutie, what you doing? Oh, not too much. Just hanging out here on this beautiful day. What about you? Oh. Not too much, going out for a walk. Damn, you're sexy. You wanna, you wanna come over or something? Well, thank you. I just got this new outfit, but I wouldn't mind hanging out with you. Rather not go over. Oh, I'd really like it for you to come over. Well, I appreciate that, but I'm okay for this moment. Oh, come on, no one's home. Really? It'll be fun. Yeah, no one's home. It'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. You want to bring me to your house when no one's home so that you can show me the entire place to yourself. But I certainly just don't feel comfortable being alone with you in a place that's totally new to me. Oh, come on. We won't be doing too much, you know? Won't be doing too much? Yeah, we won't be doing too much. My good sir, I appreciate that, but I have a boyfriend who I love very much. Oh, well, that's okay. You, know, you just tell him you're out for a walk or, you know, you're at work or something. Sir, I don't think you're understanding where I'm coming from. I have a boyfriend who I love very dearly, and I appreciate your kindness and your offer of inviting me over to your home where you feel welcome there, and that's your home. But I certainly do not feel respected enough to be invited to a stranger's house, to be in that house alone with a stranger who I barely just met, where I can go home, see my boyfriend, who I love very much, go to my house, and see my lovely animals and be full of love. Oh, well, how about next time then, huh? I wouldn't mind next time if it was somewhere public and I could just know you better. All right, well, I guess I'll have to hit you up later then, huh? That sounds good, but only for friendly matters. Uh, we'll see about that, we'll see about that. We sure uh, will. We'll see you later, sexy. See you later, good sir. Hey, what's up, baby? How you doing? Oh, shit, hello. Hey, you want to buy some uh, some weed? Weed? Yeah, you want to buy some weed? Where the fuck do you get that out here? Right here. You want some? Oh, shit. Some fire shit. You want some? It's got perp and everything. I don't know, man. I'm not trying to get myself into some twists and turns and knots. Oh, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, that's all I'm saying. It's, it's fire shit. I would really recommend it. I mean, I understand, man, but I don't know. I mean, there's some brown in this shit, too. There's some perp, but... It's mostly stems, man. I'm telling you, it's it's fire shit. I, I got uh, tuitions to pay just like you, sweetheart. I mean, I understand I got tuitions to pay, but I simply don't see my worth in buying this unless you try to make it worth it. Uh, how, how can I make it worth it for you, huh? I don't know. I mean, can I mean, you add a couple more? I mean, I... Uh, I mean, yeah, once I go home, I can add some more, you know? I mean, I can... But if you buy this right now, I'll, I'll throw in a little bit next time I see you. What's there even a guarantee that I'm gonna even see you? Um, I don't know. Maybe if you like add me on Snapchat or something, you know, you can so hit me up whenever gonna, I need you. You're gonna assume that I automatically have Snapchat? Well, yeah. I, mean, I don't blame you, you got, especially you got a in this phone, society. So, I mean, you could either hit me up on Snapchat or text me. You know, let me know when you need some uh, fireweed. I'll look at it, man. I don't know. 
I'm just, I'm not trying to get myself into trouble here. I'm, I understand that you're just trying to make a living and everything, but there are boundaries that I just seriously can't cross. Ah, come on. I got, I got tuitions to pay, baby. Come on. You seem like a nice guy. We'll, we'll see. I don't know, man. I don't have any cash. Oh, uh, no cash? I'm sorry. Mm. All right, sweetheart. I appreciate well, it. Hit me up next time, all right? If I see you I'll again. I'll see you around. Uh -huh. Is that your catnip? Oh, it's your catnip. Oh shit. Someone loves her catnip. <laughs>